Hi, my name is Shear, and I'm the founder and CEO of ShearConsulting.com, where we focus on converting the existing data from your business into massive savings and extraordinary profits. Today, we're going to learn the basics of Excel. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about basic navigation within the different cells, rows, and columns of this worksheet. So how do we select cells to begin with? Well, we can use the mouse simply by clicking over and selecting one cell at a time. We can also use the keyboard's directional keys to go through the worksheet just like that. If you want to select multiple cells at a time, we can use the mouse to click and drag and then let go. And we get all these cells highlighted. With the keyboard, we can start from one spot, press and hold the shift key, and then use the directional arrows to select additional cells. If we want to expand the selection, we can now go to the left, or we can contract the selection like so, and it always goes around the initial selection point, which is shown right over here. If you wanted to select cells that were not adjacent to each other, the way we do that is first select the cell that you want to start with, press and hold the control key on the keyboard, and then click additional cells as you desire. From that point, we can easily change formatting to all those cells at a time. It's best used for formatting as opposed to copying and pasting, um, so tr don't try and copy and paste those non-adjacent cells. If you wanted to then select an entire column, you simply hover the mouse over the column until you see this down arrow, and then you click. The whole column is now selected. Same with the rows, except the arrow is pointing to the right. A little keyboard shortcut for this is if you want to press and hold the control key and then hit the space bar, you get the entire column. If you want to press and hold the shift key and then press the space bar, you'll get the entire row. Another trick is to select this entire chunk of data at once. You can do it with the mouse by starting on the top left, clicking and dragging until the bottom right, and then letting go. Or you can click anywhere inside of the chunk of data and hit Control and A on the keyboard, which brings you this whole selection. If you want to expand the selection even further, you hit Control A again to get all of the cells in this worksheet. Another way to do that is to click right over here to the top left. And that's how to select all the different cells, columns, and rows inside a worksheet. 